Welcome to Countouts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the labor rate variance. And we are continuing with our lesson on standard costing. And we've looked at many other variance calculations. You'll find them in the links in the description below. But we said that a standard cost is a predetermined target cost that provides a benchmark against which to measure actual performance. That is why we are doing standard costing. The difference between actual costs and standard costs is called the variance. The variance could either be favorable or unfavorable. And it's your job to determine whether any of the variances you are calculating is favorable or unfavorable. The labor rate variance, which we are looking at just now, is calculated by multiplying the difference between the standard rate and the actual rate by the actual number of hours worked. So that is the labor rate variance. So what does the formula look like? Well, here it is. It's the standard rate minus the actual rate, and you multiply that answer by the actual hours worked. Now. If you're going to calculate this, if it gives you a negative answer, and that's why this formula is structured this way, if you get a negative answer, then you know that it's unfavorable. If you get a positive answer, then you know that it's favorable. But in essence, how you know it is that if the actual rate is less than the standard rate, the variance is favorable. And why would that be? Well, because the rate that you are actually paying is less than what you thought you would pay. That is why the variance would be favorable. But if the actual rate is greater than the standard rate, the variance is unfavorable. And why would that be? Well, it's obvious. If your actual rate is greater, that means you paid more than you anticipated to pay. And that is why the variance would be unfavorable. Now, let's go through some examples so that you understand fully how to do the labor rate variance and how to apply this formula. And here is our first example. We are told that the labor details in the production department of METS PLC are, and we are told here that the standard labor cost is 2.4 hours at 3 rand per hour. The actual hours worked and the rate is 450 hours at 2 rand 80 per hour. And the number of units produced is 200. We are asked to calculate the labor rate variance. Now, it should be simple for us to do this once we know the formula. And here is our formula once again. The labor rate variance is the standard rate minus the actual rate, and you multiply that by the actual hours worked. Now, it should be easy here. What is our standard rate? Well, our standard rate is what we planned or what we allowed to spend for each hour worked. So we're told that the standard labor cost is 2.4 hours at 3 rand per hour. So the standard rate, they were looking for the rent amount. Remember that it's 3 rand per hour. That is our standard rate. And what is our actual rate? Well, we're told here the actual hours worked and the rate is 450 hours at 2 rand 80 per hour. So the rent amount here is at 2 rand 80. So the standard rate is 3 rand minus the 2 rand 80. And the actual hours worked, well, the actual hours is the 450 hours. And we put that in our formula. And what answer does it give us? Well, we should already know that it's going to give us a favorable answer. So it's 90 rand favorable. And why is it favorable? Well, because we thought we were going to pay 3 rand. So we planned to spend 3 rand, but we only ended up spending 2 rand 80. And that is why the variance is favorable. And why would it be favorable? If you had to explain why it's, why it's favorable, what could have happened? Well, a possible explanation is that the wages or the wage rate per hour could have fallen or we could have gotten lower skilled workers to work on the project and therefore we're able to pay them less than we actually pay our usual workers. So those are possible reasons as to why the variance could be favorable. And you have obviously to investigate why you were able to get a favorable answer so that you can replicate it in the future if you can based on the information or based on the reasons why it's favorable. Let's look at our second example and hope that you understand it so far. And here's our second example. And what I'd like you to do here is to pause the video and try and do the question yourself. And then you can continue with the video and compare your answer to mine. So you can pause right here and attempt the question yourself. Okay, I hope you have attempted the question yourself. Here we are asked to calculate the labor rate variance. We are told that the standard quantity allowed to produce one unit of product ego is five direct labor hours at a standard rate of 12 rand per hour. 
we took the company 3330 hours at 14 rand 50 per hour to produce 650 units of product ego so let's calculate the labor rate variance again let's bring up our formula we know that it's the standard rate minus the actual rate times the actual hours worked so what is our standard rate here well it's easy we're in fact told exactly that we're told that the standard rate is 12 rand per hour so we're going to put 12 rand here and what is our actual rate well we're told it took the company 3330 hours at 14 rand 50 per hour so our actual rate is 14 rand 50 per hour so the standard rate is 12 rand minus the actual rate of 14 rand 50 and we multiply that by the actual hours worked. how many hours were actually worked well it's 3330 hours and you always pay attention to that make sure you put the right information where students usually make a mistake is instead of putting the actual hours worked they put the units which would be incorrect so you make sure that you put the actual hours that were worked so the actual hours worked was 3330 and what is our answer here well it's 12 rand minus 14 rand 50 and you multiply that by 3330 hours and how much does that give you 8325 rand and the variance there is unfavorable and it would be obvious why it would be unfavorable here because our actual rate is greater than our standard rate you can see our actual rate is 14 rand 50 but our standard rate is 12 rand so we planned to use 12 rand but we ended up using 14 rand 50 possible reasons again well maybe we didn't anticipate an unexpected increase in wages maybe we thought we we're still gonna pay 12 rand but wages went up unexpectedly and that is why we ended up paying more or maybe we wanted the most skilled individuals to work on this production and we paid them more or it could be that our employees worked overtime and that's why we had to pay them a higher rate than we usually do for normal time and that's why it would be unfavorable so 8325 rand i hope you got the same answer that i did let's do one more example to gauge your understanding where the question looks a bit different here's our third example now you can again pause the video here and attempt to calculate the labor rate variance and then compare your answer to mine you can go ahead and do that well, I hope you have attempted the question. We are told here that BRD LLC has a standard quantity of 0 0.6 hours to produce one tray at a standard rate of 5 rand per hour. It took the company 22,000 hours of direct labor at the total cost of 99,000 to make 27,500 trays. Calculate the labor rate variance. Now here we are calculating the same thing. So let's bring up our formula once again. I'm sure you should know it off by head. Here it is. Standard rate minus the actual rate multiplied by the actual hours worked. So what is our standard rate here? Well, I hope you put 5 rand per hour. That is our standard rate as we're told here at the standard rate of 5 rand per hour. So our standard rate is 5 rand minus the actual rate. Now, what is our actual rate this time? Well, you can see here we're given the total cost. We're not given the cost per hour or the rate per hour. So now we have to calculate it. But our actual hours worked were given we're told it took the company 22,000 hours. So that is the actual hours worked. I hope so far you are correct. So let's calculate our actual rate. If we paid a total cost of 99,000 rand and we worked for 22,000 hours, that means our actual rate is 99,000 divided by 22,000 hours. And it gives us a rate of 4 rand 50 cents. That is how much we actually paid per hour that was worked. So we have our standard rate of 5 rand, we have our actual rate of 4 rand 50, and we have our actual hours worked of 22,000. So let's calculate our labor rate variance. It's the 5 rand minus 4 rand 50, and you multiply that answer by 22,000 hours. And it gives us a favorable variance of 11,000 rand. Why is it favorable? Well, we expected to pay 5 rand, but we ended up only paying 4 rand 50. Again, possible reason, maybe we hired new workers and we're able to pay them a lower rate. Or maybe when we set the standard rate of 5 rand per hour, we thought they would work overtime and would have to pay them more. But they ended up working efficiently and they were able to work within the hours. And that is why we actually spend less than we thought we would have spent. And that is why the variance is 11,000 rand favorable. 
I hope it has made sense. I hope you now know how to calculate the labor rate variance when you are asked the question differently. And I hope you know how to explain what possible reasons it could have been, why there is a variance. If you have gained value from this lesson, if you have learned something, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. And if you require further one-on-one -on -one lessons, you can find our details in the description below where we offer one-on-one -on -one lessons at reasonable rates. Till next time. Cheers.